Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and today we're going to be playing some Prison Architect for the Xbox One. This is another edition of Achievement College, my series where I take you through step-by-step -step guides to get that achievement and that gamer score. So today we're going to be looking at the first achievement for Prison Architect and that's going to be 2000 volts. The first step is actually going to be to head into Prison Stories. There are five Prison Stories to complete. It's sort of the uh, mini tutorial slash story mode of the game. Um, and we're going to get five achievements, one for each story and a sixth achievement for completing all five stories. So this video will take you through the um, achievement for the first story, which is Death Row. And you actually need to complete a set number of side or optional objectives to ob obtain the achievement for that mission. So let's go. Okay, now when you first get into the game here, you'll uh, first be uh, put into this conversation here, answer the phone and talk to the CEO. He'll take you through a few step-by-step -step things um, that you need to do and there's nothing we can actually show you for this part. You're just going to follow the step-by-step -step guides um, until this next bit that I'm going to skip ahead to. Okay, so when you get up to this bit where you've finished the execution chamber and the CEO gives you a call, he's going to tell you that once you're ready to pick up the snapshot in the cell of the uh, man on death row. But before we do that, we've got five uh, optional objectives that we need to complete for this achievement. I'm going to place them up on the screen now for you. Um, and what we need to do is tick off each one of those before we pick up that snapshot. And I'll take you through how we do each one of those as it comes. Okay, and the first objective is to add a path. We need that to lead from the door to the existing path. So what I'm doing here is just selecting flooring and then concrete tiles. And then you just um, map out where you want the path to go. It really doesn't matter. Just um, join it from this path here and then join it up to the door as well. Next thing you want to do is go across to objects and you want to select a window. And then what you want to do is you want to place it, you can um, rotate it by clicking left thumbstick, and place it on that wall on the left, or you can leave it how it was and place it on that south wall as well. And now go back into objects, select the bookshelf, and just place that anywhere in the cell, like so. And next thing we want to do is go across to flooring. Uh, I'm going to select the wooden flooring here, but you can select one of the tile options as well, I believe. And the other thing I haven't actually tested out um, is whether or not you need to put the new flooring on the whole building, including that little foyer area. But I just do it regardless, just to make it all, uh, you know, symmetrical, look nice. Um, so you just um, click and drag the three little areas. Um, of the flooring, make sure it's all green and that'll give us our, uh, our flooring. You'll also notice that obviously not all the work is done yet but we're just uh, getting everything ready. And now we've got the fifth and final optional objective for this uh, story and that is to add some outdoor lights. So go into objects again, select lights. Um, I'm pretty sure you only need to add two down the front here, either side of your path or somewhere down the front here. Um, but as you see, I, I just put a third one in just for good measure um, while I was still sort of uh, making sure that we get this achievement to pop. So now that all five of those objectives have been tasked to your little workers there, all you need to do now is sit back and wait and watch while your little workers complete all the objectives. Um, what you can do is you can push the um, push and hold the Y button and press right on the d-pad and that'll speed up time while the workers uh, complete the work. I'm just going to fast forward the video until that's completed. And there we go, back to normal time. And there's the achievement. A rare achievement for 20 gamer score and that is 2000 volts. So that's how you achieve that. And that concludes the first edition of Achievement College for prison prison architect but I'm just going to show you what we need to do just to complete the level because that's also working towards the achievement for completing all five story missions so let's do that as well. All you need to do is from the uh, execution chamber here you need to go down to your right to this cell block here find the cell with the uh, photo or the snapshot there and click on that to start another a little cutscene. 
And from that point on, you just uh, follow the uh, CEO's instructions to complete the level. He'll take you through a few little uh, tutorials on how to connect power and that sort of thing, and just uh, take you straight through to the end. Nothing else to pick up on for achievements. And that's it, that's the end. I hope that worked, I hope you got the achievements and I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and if it helped at all, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, it'll help out the channel a lot. And don't forget to uh, check out the rest of the Achievement College for Prison Architect. And until then, I will catch you all later.